Hello everybody. Quick tip on batch processing audio files with Audacity. So I ran into a situation where I needed to change the volume of a number of MP3 files. My uh, daughter sleeps with a little speaker and uh, it's sort of her nighttime music and her old speaker died and it just has a little flash card, uh, SD card. And uh, so that speaker died and we got a new one. And for whatever reason, the volume on that new one is uh, much higher. So even on the lowest possible setting, it turned out to be too loud. So I thought, well, I could just take the files and open them in Audacity and then, you know, use the amplify effect and turn the amplification down. So essentially just take the volume of the track down. So the output coming out of the speaker is going to be less because the level of the track that it's playing is less. So uh, I had a bunch of uh, files to reduce the volume on, and I didn't want to do this. You know, you could do this one at a time and uh, just pull in a single file and then go to the effect, amplify, and change the amplification. And I was doing negative 20. Now all of a sudden you have a, a much lower volume on the track. And even though it looks so much less than it was, it actually is about, I would say half as loud. So I can do that. Now I can save that file and then I'd have to do that. Uh, let's see, 30 times. And that doesn't sound like fun to me. So I thought, uh, I know there's a way, it used to be called chains. You could chain commands together and then run those chains against files. And recently, Audacity changed it to macros. And they work basically in the same way. So I created a macro here that will take the file, run the amplification effect, set the decibel level to negative 20, and then export the file as an MP3. And so I won't take you through that actual process, uh, tell you what, I'll do it on like a couple just so it doesn't take a while because it has to open the file and uh, create the volume and all of that stuff. So let me, uh, yeah, actually I don't need this now. So I will run this just on a single file or files. Oh, and yeah, it doesn't like to do it if the project's open. So let me just close this. I'm not going to save it macro reduce volume and uh you know just to show it so what i did was you just create a name and then in your new macro there's no commands you insert a command and on this list it's just basically every single effect that you can apply in audacity so the only one i really need for this case is the amplify and then the other one i need is to export mp3. The first time I did this, I didn't put that in there, and I thought, well, maybe it would be smart enough to just take the existing file and rewrite it out, but you have to be explicit here and tell it exactly what you want it to do. So the chain of commands is amplify the clip, which you're actually using the amplify effect and, re and reducing the volume, and then exp export it as mp3. So, I'm going to go ahead and just use my other one, which is exactly the same thing. And say files, music, deep sleep, reduced volume. And I'll just do the first two so you can see it. And it runs through importing it, running the effect, and then exporting the file. And it will automatically create a subdirectory with the output of the file. And so if you were to look at these, you know, it should have the current date, obviously. And if you were to compare them before and after, the volume is greatly reduced. And so there you go, I got what I wanted. Um, the other th way this could be really useful, obviously, is if you were doing any kind of audio processing. So let's say you record audio for any reason uh, and you want to apply some effects to it, and you have a sort of setup that you like. You know, you've got the 
you've got the noise reduction and the compressor and sort of all the effects that you like and you've you would normally just bring in a f one file at a time and run those effects maybe you've saved them or you know what the settings are but in this case you create a macro and then each time you want to apply that known good configuration or that known good set of effects you just simply run the macro on that file and it does it all for you so there you go super simple quick tip wasn't really meant to be a deep dive or anything like that just something i discovered that made my life easier today and i thought i'd throw that out there for you guys and see if it helped anyone else all right hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you soon